Hey y'all, so it's Lily Turner in for our weekly chat. I'm so glad you, that you're here with us, with me tonight. Um, okay, so I'm a little bit different setup tonight, so y'all just bear with me. I do have a purpose. I do have a purpose. Okay, so if you're watching, be sure to give StreamYard permission when you comment so that I can say hey and I know who I'm talking to. Um, tonight, we are going to do all about those brushes. I'm going to show y'all several brushes that I have that I use on a daily, daily basis. And then I'm going to also show y'all how to clean them or how I clean them. You may have a different way. And if you do, let me know in the comments. Okay. So that's why I'm in my bathroom right now. Well, sort of my bathroom, my boys' bathroom. They have the pretty shower curtain and all of that stuff. I just got a glass shower. So we're in the boys' bathroom tonight. But if you're watching, be sure to tell me hey in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching me on YouTube or if you're watching me on Facebook, either way, just let me know, okay? So all of these brushes you can get from my website. And so I'm just going to go through here and show y'all a few of my brushes. And then I'm going to show you what I found works best for me to clean them with. Okay. So the first things that I'm going to show you, all of our brushes are synthetic bristles. Um, <coughs> Before I get into the brushes, y'all, y'all know how I get sidetracked, right? Y'all just, y'all know how I get sidetracked. So today was a busy, busy, busy day. I've got deadlines at work, but I had to take off work. I had to take my son to his eye appointment in Birmingham, which is over an hour away. Then we were there all day. I get back. I try to work on my computer and try to do some other stuff. My husband comes in and he's on a temperature, y'all. He, oh, especially on Tuesdays, because I work on Tuesdays. Y'all know I'm with y'all until way into the night. So he usually is our cook. And when he's sick, my house falls apart. <laughs> I know that should be the other way around. But in the midst of all of that, I've got him in the bedroom kind of quarantined so that he don't get the whole house sick. We don't know what's going on with him right now. He did get tested the other day, but he didn't have COVID. But he's, now his fever has come back. So um, he's probably going to the doctor tomorrow. But anyway, so I was cooking supper and um, I'm sending out my birthday messages today because I'm running behind. Y'all, it seems like I can't ever have enough of me going around sometimes. If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all just let me know in the comments. Raise your hand, wave at me, do something in the comments and let me know that y'all have those days too where you just can't seem to get enough done in the day. So anyway, doing all that and now then I had a team meeting and now I'm on here with y'all and I know I am super, super late and I'm so sorry because, but I guess it's better to be late than not ever show up, right? <laughs> and I love hanging out with y'all. So anyway, all of that, we're going to get into our brushes. Now these are the eye brushes that come in this cute little pouch, just like this. And there's five to this particular set. You know, you can buy any of our brushes individually, okay? But this is our essential brush collection. And these are all in plastic, so I'm going to have to take the plastic off. Y'all, I wish you could feel these. These are so soft, okay? These are just so soft. This is our all over powder brush. It's got the nice round bristles up here. This brush works best with our new silky setting powder. 
y'all it is awesome if you haven't seen it or tried it you need to get with me because the new silky setting powder is awesome it also works well with the translucent powder so all of our brushes will have the name of the brush right there and i don't know if i'm getting that to focus or not but you can see the name of the brush so this is our all over powder brush We have in this collection, we also have the cheek brush. Now the cheek brush I love because you can use it three different ways. You can use it fanned out like that. You can push the bristles in when you're going to highlight. And um, so you can highlight, you can contour, and you can use this as a blush brush. So it's going to do all cheek, all the way out the cheeks. And of course, it does have the name on there. But these, y'all, if you could actually feel how soft these bristles are, you would be just like, oh my gosh, I need those. And I'm going to tell y'all, I have... A set of mini brushes right here that I got from Mary Kay when I still lived in South Alabama. So I know I moved to North Alabama in 2015. So this is at least from 2014 or before 2014, something or another like that. And I have a set of these mini brushes. Yes. My dog got a hold of it and she has chewed it all up, but it didn't mess the bristles up. So as long as you take care of them, they're going to work and they're going to be here for a long, long, long time. So um, I have those. I have some other brushes from other places, retail stores, whatever, and the bristles fall out or they get really hard <laughs> like you know I paid good money for this brush but my Mary Kay brushes are lasting just like I said those I know I had to have those 2014 or before I can't remember when I was using Mary Kay down there but I know I moved up here with them so it's been that long and I use them often okay so we're going back to the essentials brush y'all i'm all over the place y'all know i can't keep focus for nothing y'all know that that's why y'all love me right let me know if y'all love me <laughs> all right so this brush is our eye crease brush and you can tell it has that slant to it and it's going to get in your creases this is an awesome brush to get um your liner you can put liner on right here so you can do all kinds of things with this crease brush right there and again i'm in the five piece set the five piece brush set and then here is an all over eyeshadow brush you can tell how it's rounded at the top this one works awesome I use this one a lot when I am using my liquid eyeshadow because that's my favorite brush to use with my liquid eyeshadow. And then the last one is an eye smudger brush. So the eye smudger brush, if I can get that to focus right there. It's kind of um, short. It's still rounded, but the bristles are short. And this works awesome if you're doing the smoky eye. If you like the smoky eye, this brush is you're gonna, gonna be your absolute favorite brush. So in this set, you get five brushes and the bag to hold them in. Okay, so you've got 
the all over powder brush, you've got the crease brush, you've got the cheek brush, and you've got the eye smudger brush and the all over eyeshadow brush in that set. Can y'all see that? I'm not looking at the camera and looking at the computer as well to make sure what I, what's on screen. So, I just fit right down inside. Inside the bag is um, got some little pockets in there so they just stay in place on each side, right there, just like that. So that is our set, okay? And then, of course, you can buy any one of those brushes individually. And I'm just going to kind of set those right there. Maybe I won't dump them in the water <laughs> when I start to get the water. Okay, so now the rest of these are going to be dirty. And y'all forgive me because I left them dirty on purpose so that we can clean them, okay? So, normally I wouldn't just show y'all my dirty brushes. <laughs> I try to clean them. This next one is my one of my favorites. It's the Beauty Blender. And it's got the pointed end. And then it's got the flat end. Those are the two ends that I use. I mean, of course, you could use the whole sides or whatever. But this pointed end goes right in. And it fits just right in my corner here to make sure that I can get my under eye corrector and... Um, all of that good stuff to go underneath my eyes to keep the dark circles from shining through like crazy. So here's my beauty blender. And I think, I personally, I only have one beauty blender. But there's so many times that I wish that I had at least two or three. Because I need something either a different color or I'm doing something different. So that will probably be my next brush or blender that I get. It's going to be another blender. Okay. Now you can buy blenders and brushes everywhere. You can. But ours comes with a guarantee, of course. But they're also like, this is really thick and it's durable. Like, unless my dog gets a hold of it, you know, because she's, she's good about tearing stuff up, but I'm not just going to tear this up just by using it. Some of those others I've used, they just fall apart, and then you have foam all over your face, and then your makeup, and all that stuff. These are not going to fall apart, okay? All right, so my next favorite brush that I use all the time, every day is my liquid foundation brush and yes you can tell that I have used it I don't know if you can see that it's got some of my foundation already in it like that but I use this every single day if I'm not wearing my cream to powder foundation I am wearing my liquid foundation so if I've got makeup on I've more than likely used this brush We've got our blending brush. This is my most recent purchase, and I love this. The bristles on it are so soft, and it just blends. Awesome. And, y'all, these feel so good on your face. They do. They just feel so good. So that's our um, blending brush. For, works good with foundation, under eye corrector, highlighters. It works good for all of that. I used it with my um, translucent powder the other day because I had my makeup with me, but I didn't have my all over the powder brush. So, um, anyway. So then we go over here. We got another brush right here. This one I use a lot. So on this end, this is our um, eyebrow brush, and then I have a crease brush on the end. Is that coming into focus? Y'all let me know if you're watching. Say hi in the comments or something. Let me know that you're here. So that's another crease brush, and y'all, you can't have too many of those. 
because I can dip in this color and dip this one in this color. You can't have too many of those at all. Okay. So that's another one of my favorites. It's got the two ends on it. I've got two sets of the minis. So this one was our come from Christmas last year. Not 2021, but 2020. And so these work. Uh, these are awesome. I love anytime y'all we come out with the limited edition minis, you need to get some because I'm telling you, they are awesome. And then I have another set of the minis here. And this is the set that I'm, I had when I moved up here. So I know these are at least six, seven, eight years old, at least that old. Okay. And it, of course it has three different brushes in it, has a mini blender, eye crease, and all over eyeshadow brush. And these bristles are still just as soft as they were as my new ones are now. They're just still that soft. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? What other brushes do I have in here? Okay. So this one right here is a new brush that Mary, Mary Kay just come out. And I'm not sure why we've had the mini eye blenders, but this is an eye blending brush and I love this brush. It's just kind of um, got the longer bristles on it and it's, you know, a little bit bushier and this just moves the eyeshadow around just awesome. Okay. And then we have, I think I've shown y'all all of my other brushes. Let me see. Because I have the same set that I showed y'all. I have all of those. Let's see. Yeah, this is the all over eyeshadow brush. There's a crease brush. There is a um, creamed color. Oh, I didn't show y'all this one. So this one is a cream colored. And it also works well with my liquid eyeshadow. So it's got the rounder, longer brushes up here. And it just is kind of flat. So it, it works really well if you've got cream eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow on that. And then, of course, I have the all over powder brush and my cheek brush that I just threw in the floor. <laughs> so I've got those and that's what they look like when they've been used a little bit. Okay, so you can tell this one is, doesn't look very clean at all. I kind of embarrassed showing y'all that I have dirty brushes, but it's time to clean them anyway. You need to clean them once a week to keep the bacteria and things from setting up in them. And one last. So this is actually a mask applicator. Y'all, if you put any kind of mask on your face, you need the applicator. One, it's going to keep the oil and stuff out of your fingers getting onto your face. So if you're doing the charcoal mask, trying to pull all the oil out, the oil from your fingers, you don't want that back in there. And two, it just makes it so much easier. It's not a lot of mess to clean up. And so I definitely recommend using the applicator brush. It's silicone, it washes right off, and it's easy to get in the creases right here of your nose. So I definitely recommend a mask applicator brush.
All right. So the next thing I want to show y'all is our brush cleaner. So it comes in this bottle and um, <coughs> sometimes when you use a brush cleaner, you can't use those brushes again, right? And if y'all seen any of my eyeshadow videos, y'all know I like to mix my eye colors a lot and I never do them the same. So um, you can take this and spray directly on, let me get this one. So you can take this and spray directly on the, um, I'm going to kind of hold this over here. Can y'all see like this? Just spray a couple sprays and then wipe it off. And I've just got some tissue paper here for purposes, for video purposes, okay? Um, sometimes I use a tissue paper, sometimes I use a towel, but I've sprayed it and now I just wipe it until all of it comes out. This, this is a quick fix. You still need to clean them with an um, antibacterial soap or something to get the bacteria out at least once a week. But this is a quick fix. I Now I can go right back into my eyeshadow, go in with a different color, and y'all, it's dry. It's already dry. And, you know, just as soft. And that stuff smells really good, too. So, I definitely recommend that you have a brush cleaner on hand, especially one that you can use it and dip right back in there. You don't have to have no dry time or anything like that. Okay? So, there's that. And, and the brush cleaner works on any of those. Now I'm going to show you all two different things that I have found that works for my brushes. Okay. Y'all let me know in the comments if you're watching. Say hey to me. Be sure to let StreamYard have permission so that I can see your comments. And y'all let me know what kind of brushes do you have? What do you clean them with? Y'all let me know in those comments. Okay. So... I have um, our Mary Kay Beauty Bar, okay? Now, this is awesome um, for your face, for your men that wear, you know, use bar soap. You ladies who like to use bar soap, this is really good for your face and your entire body. Because it gets the makeup off really well, I use it for my brushes and I'm oh I don't I don't want to sneeze okay maybe I'm not gonna sneeze and so I have this one specifically just for my brushes to clean with okay so I have been what I've been doing and I'm going to have to rearrange just a little bit because I don't want my phone or my computer in the water. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Have to call the fire department to the house because I got my computer wet, started a fire, electrocuted something. Okay. We're not gonna do all that. <laughs> okay. I like hot water. One, hot water gets the bacteria out more. And two, I can't stand anything cold. So I most definitely do not want anything at all cold. So I'm going to turn that water on. And I have a towel that's just sitting here. So once I get um, the brushes Clean. I'm just going to set them on this towel right here and let them dry, okay? I'm running out of sink room because I got my computer in here, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so I have my, my soap, and this 
is how I've been cleaning these brushes, okay? So I'll just go with this brush right here. So I just hold the soap under the water, get it good and wet. Oh, y'all, that's still a little cold. And so usually what I do, can, all right, so can y'all see? I just hold this soap in my hand and I rub my brush over it and rinse it out until it comes clean, okay? And it does, it takes a little bit of time, but it is well worth it if you're spending the time once a week to clean your brushes out. Okay, so my brush is good and wet now, and I'm just, I'm going to put this towel over my computer, y'all. I'm so afraid of getting water in my computer. Okay, so good and wet, and so I just rub it through there until there's nothing in on my brush. Rinse it out. So that was a cheap brush. And so, you know, there ain't a whole lot on my cheap brush. And the foundation brush, now that and my eye brushes are going to be a little different. Okay. So the other day I was at Bargain Hunt. And this is one of the things that I wanted to show y'all. I love shop, shopping at Bargain Hunt and places like that. So I found this little bowl right here. And you can't tell it on the camera, but on the inside it has different um textures on the inside and so now i used a brush a while ago and I just rubbed on there i used my brush cleaner rubbed it on there and then it was easy like i didn't i didn't have to wipe it on the toilet paper or the towel or anything like that so now um I am just going to put some soap in the bottom. I'm, my soap is good and wet. And so I'm just going to rub it around this little bowl on the inside and get all of those little nodules in there covered with soap. And we're going to try this real quick to see how this is going to help me clean my brushes. I already know that it's going to, it works well when I'm just spraying my brush cleaner on there and whatever. So, so my foundation brush right here. I'm going to get it wet. And, oh, no! That is awesome. Okay. So let me see if I can hold this up enough. See my makeup down in there? See it's running out right there. But can you see the colored? My the water is all colored in here. Like it's it's already working. I'm gonna love this. So I'm just rubbing around on these different raised surfaces, and it's getting my brush really clean. So this may be a good investment. I got this at Morgan Hunt for like two dollars and fifty cents. So this is this is already turning awesome. So if you don't have a little bowl to clean them, then you just take and you rub it on the soap and rinse it out. Rub it on the soap. You can get if you have a really fine tooth comb, you can comb through and it'll pull that especially on your foundation brushes. It'll pull that through and help you to um, So I'm just rubbing it on my soap right now and you can tell my soap just changed colors like that. I'm rubbing it on my soap 
and then I'm going to rub it back in this bowl. There's a lot of color in that in the bottom of that bowl. That works, y'all. And it's still going. So this, awesome. But you just keep cleaning it until all of the color comes out. Now, if you're pressed for time, then you don't have to get all of the color out. I like to go ahead, when I'm cleaning them like this, I want them all clean. So I just keep going until I get all of my color completely out so that I have nice clean brushes in the morning. Man, I wish y'all could see this. This bowl is awesome. It's getting up inside of my brush and everything. Do be sure to get all of the soap out of it. Um, it's going to dry a whole lot quicker. And that's another thing that I love about our Mary Kay brushes. These are going to be completely dry in the morning so that I can use them. I, I always clean them at night time and then the next morning I am ready to go because of the quality of brushes, bristles that we use. Okay. I did not bring it in here, but I do have a few other brushes that I don't like to use at all. And they are frazzled. The bristles are hard. And I just, I don't like them. You know, it seems like they're really hard to clean. And then the bristles are falling out. And it's from another well-known company. I just, I just don't like their brushes. So, I thrown away if the, once the bristle starts coming out I throw them away because I, I can't handle all that on my face all right so now my foundation brush I may clean on that a little bit more after the video but my foundation brush is for the most part clean and that's my hardest brush, y'all. That's the one that takes me the longest because that foundation gets up in there. So now, once you get done, you just kind of shape the bristles back and then lay them flat. Don't hang them upside down and don't set them up like this because what's going to happen is all that water is going to drain down into your brush. Okay, so get all of the water out you can out of your brush and lay them flat. Shape your bristles back and then lay them flat on your towel and they will dry. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to do just a few more. Maybe my eye brushes, my blender brush on camera. Just, just to show y'all some little things. Okay. Again, I'm going to get my soap. And these little brushes like this, you can do two at a time if you want to. If you if you can hold on to it, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So I'm just rubbing them on my soap. And then I, I'm liking this bowl. So I'm just going to rub them around in this bowl. And let this little bowl get all of the colors out of there. And it's working really well. It's getting the way these nodules are set up. There's four different patterns in the bottom of this little bowl. And this is, by the way, not on my website. But I got this at the store. But I, I like this to help clean my brushes. And there again, I'm just, see, you can tell, I, I'm just going to squeeze the water out of them and then shake them back and lay them flat. Now, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me wash every single brush I got, 
But I just wanted y'all to give you some, some insight how to take care of them. It's not going to cost that much. Um, you can use... Um, like I'm using that bar soap. It's made for face and it gets the makeup out. You do want to use something that is not going to be greasy to cause your, brush, your brushes to clamp up or not dry. Okay. If you should have any questions whatsoever, then you can send me a message and I will try to find out the answer for you. My website is been going at the bottom of this video. I finally remember to put that in there. So you can always go to my website and order. And I am so glad that you are here watching with me. I will see y'all next Tuesday night, hopefully at 730. Maybe it won't be another chaotic Tuesday night. And y'all be sure to, I'm going to also post an update to last week's video, my winter oily skin. Y'all, after a week, I have got my skin back to where it needs to be, and I'm so excited about that. So I'm going to post an update, so y'all be sure to look for that. And this week, we are going over how to get to do with dark, puffy eyes. I made a post yesterday that, you know, surely I'm not the only one out there. Nobody's commented on it, so... I may be the only one out there that was dark, puffy eyes, but surely not. So y'all just let me know in the comments, find my post on, the, on Facebook, and if I can do anything for you, let me know. Good night.